Hi guys, Dr. Elber here. In this video, we will be talking about iron and iron supplements and how you should take your iron supplements and when should you stop. Now, I get these questions asked a lot in practice and I wanted to share this bit of information with you all and I hope that you find it helpful. Now, iron is a vital mineral that your body needs to function properly. Iron is part of hemoglobin, which is a protein that helps transport oxygen from your lungs through the rest of your body. Now, men and women have slightly different normal ranges of iron that need to be met for their bodies to function properly. For women, the normal range is about 12 to 16 grams per deciliter, and for men, it's about 13 to 18 grams per deciliter, so slightly higher than women. Now, when the iron levels are below the normal ranges, the condition is called anemia. And symptoms of anemia include feeling fatigue, feeling dizzy, decreased performance at school and at work, difficulty breathing, chest pains, feeling cold all the time. And if you experience any of those symptoms, you definitely wanna follow up with your primary care physician and get your iron levels checked. Now, when iron levels are below the normal ranges, a doctor usually prescribes ferrous sulfate. Ferrous sulfate is a 325 milligram tablet of which is 65 milligrams of elemental iron and the remainder are other ingredients to keep the tablet intact. In practice, I counsel my patients to take their iron supplement on an empty stomach and usually with a glass of orange juice or lemon juice and the reason being is that iron is fully absorbed on an empty stomach in an acidic environment. Other foods and medications that disrupt the absorption of iron include coffee, tea, milk, cereal, multivitamins, magnesium, calcium, zinc, copper supplements, and also medications such as minocycline, doxycycline, ciprofloxacin, levofloxacin, and antacids such as famotidine, omeprazole, lansoprazole, and pantoprazole. Now, if you do take any of these foods or medications, just make sure it's separated from your iron supplement intake. How long should you be on iron supplements? The target is about six months. Now, during those six months, if your target has been met, you definitely want to talk to your primary care physician about weaning you off or completely stopping your iron supplement intake. Now, during those six months, if your iron target has not been met, you definitely want to talk to your primary care physician about other underlying conditions that may be preventing you from fully absorbing iron. Now, I also like to include some lifestyle changes. There are some foods that are rich in iron that I like to counsel my patients to incorporate into their lifestyle. Foods such as spinach, kale, quinoa, beans, lentils, and even dark chocolate. So go ahead and incorporate these foods into your diet. And I hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.